understanding the present time. The hour has already come a déjà arrivé for you to wake up from your slumber lever dans because our salvation is nearer. Parce que salut nous prêt. I want you guys to look at that word, nearer. Vous pour garder mot prêt. Everyone prêt. say nearer. Pi prêt. Di pi prêt. It's nearer now than when we first believed. Our salvation is nearer now than Sa when we first believed. Tonight, I want to speak to you on the topic. It is later than you think. Once again. It is later Lipita, than you think. Que vous pensez. Father, we bless you. Seigneur, nous disons merci. God, we glorify you. Seigneur, nous glorifier. Father, we lift you up. Seigneur, nous le élever. God, we say thank you. Nous dis merci. We thank you for your presence nous in this merci place. Nous disons merci pour présence sur notre place. And now, God, we're asking for your manifested presence. Seigneur, nous demandons tant pour manifester présence. God, we're asking for your help. Nous demandons pour aide. God, we need a fresh anointing for this assignment. Seigneur, nous besoin d'une action fraîche pour devoir ça. God, I pray that you will anoint your people. Nous demandons tant pour les peuples anciens. And anoint your preachers. Have your way in this place tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let the church say amen. I want you to say this topic. And I want you to repeat it and I want you to write it down. Write it down. It is later than you think. When we came here tonight, we started the service probably around 7.30 or 8 o'clock. Nous commençons le service là tard à soir vers une sept heures et demie, huit heures. And when you look at the time now, et l'homme garde l'heure à cunier. It is later than when we started. Lipita que nous t'ai commencé que l'homme t'ai commencé. So that is an indication that time is moving. Ça c'est une indication que temps a marché. Time is going. Le temps a marché. I believe that. The year 2020 was actually a wake-up call for many of us. Did anybody get some wake-up calls in the year 2020? I just heard like three folks. Um, did anybody get some wake-up calls in the year 2020? It was just, it was not just a... Uh, uh, um, an ordinary wake up call um, for the church alone but I believe that it was a wake up call for the entire world when I read some of the um, the headlines that happened in 2020 honestly I couldn't believe what I was seeing because they read as if I was reading headlines from a movie from COVID-19 to climate disruption from racial injustice to rising inequalities we witnessed the world in turmoil. There were forest fires. Do you guys remember that? Earthquakes all over the place. They're even in the news. They were talking about these things called hornets. I don't know if you guys remember that. These like huge bees. And it was unbelievable what you were seeing in the headlines. The United Nations Secretary General Secrétaire général des Nations Unies. He actually called it a global wake-up call. global. The common thought that was running through everyone's mind is what is really going on right now. This can't really be happening ça, ça right pa, now. Ça pa, ça pa, is this really real? Que son real I fait even face spoke là. to some people and they said, I feel like I'm in a movie. Avec moun, dit, comme si nan I feel like this is a story. Comme si son it doesn't feel like 
it's actually really happening. C'est comme si c'est bon bagay qui fait tout bon. But it really is. But son bagay réel. My sister was talking about last night um the lockdown. Um some not have parlé de fermer ou te fermer toutes les During the lockdown, pendant que te fermer les We all had to shelter in. Do you guys remember that? Nous toutes nous te doit être la caille nous songe ça. We had to shelter in in place. Nous te rete en dans la caille nous. While we sat down listening to news after news after news. Pendant chita ou attendre des nouvelles après nouvelles après nouvelles. We nouvelle. saw dead bodies all over the place. Nous et moun mouri tout partout. We saw numbers rising. Nous et numéro yo a Monté. We heard about different cases all over the world. Nous des différents cas tout partout dans le monde. We heard about how the economy was suffering because of what was happening. Church, I don't know if you remember. L'église what happened during 2020? When, when we talk about lockdown, we're talking about everything stopped. Do you guys remember that? Everything stopped. The borders were closed. Travel was suspended. Schools and businesses were closed. I couldn't even believe that the NBA, the NFL, the soccer league, all of these things were shut down. Everything we used to do had to stop. Tout bagay nou te kon fè nou oblige suspendre. Everything we were accustomed to do it. Tout bagay nou te kon habitué. To have a good time socially. Pou nou te kon fè socialement. It had to stop. Nou te oblige fermer. Everything that involved any kind of human connection. Tout bagay ki te nou te dwe kote nou pran kontak. It all just stopped. Tout bagay suspend. And the questions that began to play in the minds of the people. Les questions pou nou te a pose yo. Is this the end? Est-ce que c'est la fin? Did anybody hear that question in 2020? Ou t'as entendu des questions ça dans l'année 2020? Is this the end? Est-ce que c'est la fin? Even Christians, même chrétiens, started saying, "Yo commencé à dire, maybe this is the time of the rapture." Sûrement c'est moment bon Dieu apprend nous tous. Even Christians, même chrétiens, started saying, "Yo commencé à dire, that I think that Jesus is probably coming very, very Jésus soon." Jésus va tourner très, très bientôt. And the reason why I'm saying Christians, et ça fait mal dire chrétien, is because a lot of Christians don't really talk about the coming of Jesus the way that we used to back in the days. En plus chrétien pas parler do you understand what I'm saying? It seems like we just want to have life just here. But we forget about the coming of Jesus. And so the, the, the question kept on plaguing in our minds. Is this the end? Are you with me ladies tonight? Because what used to be normal, Parce normal no longer was normal. Li pat normal encore. People started to become afraid. Moun peur. People started to become anxious. Moun People started to wonder, Moun a penser, is this the end? Que c'est la fin? Since the church doors were closed, a, comme te fermé, I don't know if you remember, people started doing uh, um, conference call prayers all over the place. Moun Conférence de prière Zoom tout partout. prayers all over the place. Zoom. And if you wanted to get into a conference call prayer, it prière, was so hard for you to get into the room because there were so many people on that conference call. call y'all kind of quiet here because it seems oh, like probably some of y'all was on those calls. If you, if you wanted to get on a Zoom, it was so hard for you to get on that Zoom parce que si tellement gain moun cap chercher cap chercher because moun yo commencer payer di gain Jésus a vini so bon courir bon aller non la prière bon courir bon aller besoin on whatsapp prière kounia besoin entre non zoom kounia i don't know if you remember even the unbelievers they were texting like crazy they were saying can you please pray for my mama please pray for my papa please pray for my sister it seems like Everybody was talking about prayer. Everybody at the time seemed like they wanted Jesus. If you went on people's social media, forget about it. The people that never talked about Jesus, all of a sudden, you like, 
like, Dad, sister, you were saved. My God, they start talking about Jesus. They start saying, right now, I'm fasting. I've been praying. I've been seeking the Lord because of what's going on in the world. Because many of them were saying, is this the end? But what I noticed is that as things started to dwindle down, as the church doors began to open, the fire, the urgency, the passion, was no longer there. What happened to the prayer calls that had like 200 people on the conference call? What happened to the Zoom meetings that you couldn't get into? What happened to the text messages about Jesus Christ? It seems like as if things, the world started to open up and things are trying to get back to normal. We started going back to normal. We started started going back to our old and ordinary ways. I know when people started to get sick during COVID. They are singing, I'm singing, I need you. I need you. Plus que avant. I feel so My soul is thirsty. You. And then now, they find healing. You don't hear them no more. You don't see them no more. There's no more prayer. No more There's no more fire. There's no more fire. No more There's no more fire. 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 We were rushing. Nous t'a couru. We were begging. Nous t'a supplié. We were pleading. Nous t'a begué. We were trying to get and 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 stay in the presence of God. Nous t'a cherché pour nous rester dans présence bon Dieu. But as things begin to shift, quand le bagage a changé, things begin to change. Bagage a changé. And that's a major problem in the body of Christ. Ça c'est un gros problème lié dans le corps de Christ là. When we stop praying, let nous suspendre. When we stop fasting, let nous suspendre jeûner. When we stop attending prayer conference calls, let nous suspendre aller dans conférence de prière. When we stop seeking Jesus, let nous suspendre chercher Jésus. It's a problem because we become comfortable. Les sont problèmes parce que nous vivons confortable. We become but we go back to normal. Nous fait back dans ça qui normal. We become what you call ordinary Christians. Nous vivons tous des chrétiens ordinaires. We do, we no longer have the fire and the urgency that we had before. Nous pas gagne du feu, nous pas gagne urgence nous te gagne d'avant. It is a problem. Ça c'est un problème. The reason why it's a problem. Raison que fait son problème. Is because just like Paul says in the scripture. Même Jean Paul dit dans les He says the hour has already come. For you to wake up pour lever from your slumber. De, de because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Church, this simply means our final deliverance from this world is fast approaching. Your final salvation is at hand. The Bible tells us that our Lord and Savior will come like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye at any given moment at any given time at any given moment at any given time at any given moment I need you to get that in your spirit at any given time the Almighty One who is and was and is to come the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last the beginning and the end the author and perfecter of our faith the bread of life the beloved son of God the bridegroom Marie, the chief cornerstone, lui même qui pierre angulaire, the deliverer, lui même qui délivre nous, our peace, lui même qui paie nous, our 
hope, lui même qui pose our nous, redeemer, lui même qui at nous, any given moment, at moment, at any given time, at, at any given moment, moment, at any given at time, at our Lord and Savior, nous, Jesus Jésus, Christ, Christ, will come back again. But the question is, will you be ready? Will you be ready? Est-ce que prêt? Will you be ready? Est-ce que prêt? Paul is telling us here in the scripture. Paul a dit nous dans partie écriture ça. Not just to wake up. Pas juste seulement lever. But he's telling us to be ready. Mais l'a dit nous prêt. We get ready for our our the new houses that we're going to buy. On nous prépare nous pour quand on va acheter. We get ready for the education that we want to have. We get ready for the relationships that we want to get into. We get ready for the children that we want to have. But are we getting ready for the coming of Jesus Christ? The church needs to get ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. The church needs to get ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. The church needs to get ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. When we've been talking about waking up, we're saying that the church is still sleeping. Do you believe that God is going to come for a sleeping church? Do you believe that God is going to come for a church that is in a spiritual coma? We need to get ready for the coming of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout it out. Yes. Yes. You see, this is not the kind of sermon that people get so excited about because you say, Esther, I have other plans. I have other things that I want to do. And you're talking about the coming of Jesus. Well, honey, I'm sorry for you. But you got to wake up and look at what happened in 2020 and look at what's going on now still in 2021. Jesus is speaking and God is talking clearly and he's saying that the fight, the night is far spent. And, and he said that I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And you've got to get ready. You've got to get ready. Stop thinking that you have enough time. You feel that you have enough time because you made it through COVID. You got enough time. So you say, you know what? I got enough time to pray. I got enough time to fast. I got enough time to read my word. I got enough time to spend time with God. The devil is a liar. The Bible says that God is going to come. And when he comes, He's going to come for a glorious church. He's going to come for a church without a spot or wrinkle. He's going to come for a church without any blemish. Church, are you ready? 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 Let me tell you something. Some of us are getting excited. And we're saying, Yes, we're get, we're ready, we're ready. But you're not ready until you're able to let go of that stinking attitude. You're not, oh, come on, I hear you're kind of quiet right now. You're not ready unless you're able to let go of jealousy. You're not ready unless you're able to let go of strife. You're not ready unless you're able to let go of your sister that you're holding in your heart. You've got to forgive. You've got to let go. How can God come? For you huh? and you've got your sister in your heart huh? you refuse to forgive huh? you refuse to let go huh? this is not the kind of church huh? that God is coming for huh? God is coming for a church huh? without spot or wrinkle huh? we need to get right that attitude huh? that's not of God it's got to go the fighting in the church it's got to go the fighting for the titles God nobody's talking to me it's got to go it's not about your position it's not about your title it's not about you it's about Jesus so all of that stuff it's got to go in the name of Jesus, let it go, let it go, let it go. 
Somebody shout it You gotta let it go. God is calling for a church bon Dieu, après les yon, without spot qui tache, or wrinkle. Qui pa, qui You've been holding on to your mother. That 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 hurts you. Sa formal. You've been holding on to your father. Wap ki be sa papa that done you wrong for so many years mal. ago. That's You've been holding on to that person that abused you. Ki be moun ki that te sexually abused you. And you refuse to forgive Ou them. You refuse to lay them at the altar of God. You've been holding on to your boss. You've been holding on to your neighbor. My God, who am I talking to tonight? You've been holding on to that family member. And you've been saying, I'm not going to talk to her. I'm not going to talk to him. But if you want to wake up out of your slumber, you've got to let that person go. Let it go. Login. Let it go. Login. There's somebody watching on YouTube right now. God YouTube. is saying, let it go. There's a woman in here right now. God is saying, let it go. He's saying, I need a church that is ready for my coming. I need a church that is not playing any games. I need a church that's without spot or wrinkle. So if that man that you're laying with is not your husband, let him go. If that man you're laying Sing with is not Sing your husband, let him go. If that girl that you're with and you're a girl, you're confused. You've got to let it go. I wish I had some warriors. I wish I had some church. I wish I had some people that could stand with me and be bold and say, let it go. Let it go. You cannot be the church that God is calling you to be. If you are peche, we talked about sin tonight. We cannot have one foot in and one foot out. We cannot come from church after we come in praising and then what comes out of our mouth when we go to the home is cuss words. He's not coming back for a church in a spiritual coma. He's, the word says he's coming back for a glorious church. A glorious church. Come on, somebody say a glorious church. 
So what is God asking us to do? There are three things that I want to leave with you tonight. I want you to write it. I want you to write it. I want you to send it. I want you to share it. Three things that God is asking us for us to do, ladies. Number one, very simple. God is saying have faith. Come on, God is saying have faith. Faith. Matthew 17, 20 says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will be done for you. Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible. Possible for you. Oh, somebody grabbed hold on to that. Nothing will be impossible for you. You see, we need to believe, despite of what we see in front of us, God is saying that we need to have faith. Even though we're sick in our bodies, have faith. Faith. Even though we lost the job, have faith. Even when we're dealing with COVID, have faith. You've got to be able to speak to your mountains. Speak to your mountains. Oh, come on, you got to speak to that mountain. Oh, come on, come on, come on. you got to be able to speak to that mountain. And you've got to say, mountain. In the name of no, Jesus, no, Jesus, you've got to go. You've got to go. You've got to go. You've got to say mountain. In the name of Jesus, you've got to move. Sinu kwesa swaya, lele hallelujah. Bon Dieu dit na paroli. Li di debu gen la foi. If you have faith. Impossible to you. The doctor may say you have cancer. If you speak to the cancer, with your faith, I don't hear you. 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 C'est pour bon Dieu. C'est bon Dieu qui fait ça. C'est bon Dieu qui a guéri. Comme c'est au nom de Jésus. Allez, elle fait où tu vas? Pas que valise. Laissez-moi bouillir. Quand elle monte, qui quoi ça soit? Alléluia. Alléluia. You got to have. We have to have faith. We've got to believe. The Bible says that faith can move mountains. I believe that when the people of Israel were crossing the Red Sea, just because they saw it in front of them, they saw it open up. It was something else that they needed to be able to walk through that Red Sea. And I believe that thing was faith. Can I go a little bit further? I believe that when David saw that giant, and that giant was so big in front of him, I know that he saw that the giant was going to defeat the people. But probably something inside of him that's called faith that began to stir up inside of him. Because remember, David already slayed a bear. David had already slayed a lion. So David is saying the same God that did it before. He can do it again. There is nothing impossible for a God that we serve. So you gotta have faith. Somebody shout it. Yes. Faith. Have faith. Come on, say have faith. Say have faith. I gotta move to the next one, but I feel like staying right here. Faith will cause you to walk into your home and speak to every demon. Speak to every spirit that's not of God and say, Satan, demon, this house does not belong to you. This house does not belong to you. My marriage 
marriage does not belong to you. My children do not belong to you. You've got to go in the name of Jesus. You've got to have faith. So Paul say, même qui campe là, by témoignage, moi je ne t'ai pas là dans l'hôpital. Il y a crié, comme il m'a prélé. Il a dit, Esther Bral mourir. Mais moi qui campe là, moi non Jésus. Et moi qui campe avec force. Moi qui campe dans la foi. Parce que je connais même bon Dieu hier. C'est même bon Dieu aujourd'hui. Ça lui te fait déjà. Il est capable de faire le corps. You gotta have faith. You gotta have faith. Number two, God is telling us to be strong. Come on. God is telling us to be strong. The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. You're going through tough times right now, but God is saying, wait on me and be strong. You're going through a financial difficulty right now. God is saying, just wait on me and be strong. Don't give up. Keep holding on. It seems like it's not going to work out, but be strong. You feel like you're getting into depression, but God is saying, be strong. Just wait on me. I'm going to do it, but you got to be strong. When the Lord gave me this right here, I saw a I saw a person just going up a mountain and I saw the person climbing up the side of the mountain and I saw the person just grabbing hold but then as they grabbed hold they began to slip and as they were slipping they got some marks on their hands they started to bleed they got some cuts and bruises they got hurt while they were trying to go up but they decided in their mind that there is a destiny that there is a point that they need to get to that there's something up there for them there's something greater so you're all force you but you have to swear all force you all force you content mood ki kwesa content mood ki kwesa all force you kemela kemela Hold on. Be strong. Don't give up. Don't give in to what they're saying. Don't give in to the discouragement. Don't give in to the backlash. Don't give in to what the enemy is telling you. You got to be strong. God wants you to be strong. Somebody say, be strong. Say, be strong. Be strong. scripture it says they that wait that means we're going through a waiting period but even as we wait God is renewing our strength hey, even as we wait God is giving us the strength oh I wish I just had three people in here that could jump up on their feet tonight and say God is renewing he's renewing he's renewing he's giving me the strength he's giving me the strength to hold on. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be strong. I'm gonna be strong. I got cut, but I'm gonna be strong. I got hurt, but I'm gonna be strong. It hurts, but I'm gonna be strong. It hurts. 
foi fort. Number one, numéro un, have faith. Gain la foi. Number two, numéro deux, be strong. Prends force. And number three, numéro trois, the Lord is telling you, bon Dieu Abdo, get ready. Préparez-vous. Get ready. Préparez-vous. Get ready. He says, be sober-minded. Be watchful. Feye. The devil prowls around. <laughs> la like a roaring lion. Yon lion. Seeking la someone to devour. Pou vale. You have to be ready. Ou dwe be watchful. Feye. Be awake. Leve, reveye ou. You cannot be ready ou pa ka prepare ou if you still sleep sou ap dormi hmm. It's absolutely impossible li impossible for you to be ready pou prepa pou prepare ou if you still sleep et puis pou ap dormi How can you put on new clothes comment on fait mettre rade ou prepare ou pou aller en côté How you gonna go somewhere if you still sleep si ou ap dormi toujours The Lord is telling the church you've got to be ready. Bon Dieu a dit l'église, nous doit préparer nous. What comes to my mind? Ça vient dans l'esprit moi. As I was preparing this right here. Pendant m'a préparé ces versets ça. And God was saying, have faith. Bon Dieu a dit, gagne la foi. Be strong. Soupren force. And get ready. Et préparer vous. What came to me? Ça vient dans tête moi. Is what if Jesus came? Si Jésus tournait right now, Kounia, would you be ready? Est-ce qu'on prépare? If the Lord Jesus Christ, si le Seigneur Jésus came right now, vini Kounia, would you be ready? Ou pensez ou pare? Would he find his church with faith? Est-ce que l'ab joint l'église li ak la foi? Would he find a church that is strong? Est-ce que l'ab joint l'église ki gen force? Would he find a church that is ready? Est-ce que l'ab joint l'église ki prepare? There's a story in the Bible, gen histoire dans la Bible, that tells us about a bridegroom ki parle de yon mari and ten virgins. Avec 10 vierges. Five of the virgins were foolish. Cinq nan vierge yo te folle. And five of the virgins were wise. Et cinq nan yo menm yo te sage. And the Bible tells us Et la Bible dit that the reason why the ones that were called foolish sa yo ki te fou yo is because they were not prepared. C'est parce que yo pa te prepare. They were not ready. Yo pa te prepare. So when the bridegroom left, Donc, le mari a quitté, la le, all ten of the virgins fell asleep. Tout dix mesdames yo tombé yo dormi. And what I noticed about this story, et ça moi ouais dans l'histoire, actually a parable that Jesus was giving, c'est un parabole bon Dieu Jésus t'a bail before he was going to leave. Avant que il était allé. Jesus said in this parable, Jésus dit dans parabole that là, all ten were virgins. Tous les dix yo étaient vierges. So what I looked, I said every single one of them had something in common. So you're tout te gon bagay en commun. And I said, God, why you gave me the scripture? Me di Jésus pou ki so bon. And he was saying that we all have something in common. We're all, all in the church. Nous tout nou l'église. All of us are in the body of Christ. Nous tout nou nan corps de Christ la. But there are some of us. Me gen nan nou menm. That are ready. Ki pare. And some of us. Me gen nan nou menm. That are not. Ki pa pare. In the story it says that then the bridegroom came then Maria vini and then they all woke up et ont tout levé and then the five foolish virgins et cinq vierges folio they said oh my goodness we do not have any oil oh on pa nous pa gen l'huile and the other virgins that were prepared et l'autre cinq qui étaient préparés they told them go ahead go buy go get some oil allez à chercher l'huile go ahead go go buy and get some oil allez à l'acheter l'huile but that's when they realized that wait if i go and buy get some oil it's going to be too late et les frères réalisé eh si mal et mal acheté ça trop tard and what happened et puis ça crivé is that the bridegroom went et puis Marie a venu l'entrée and the scripture says et parole bon dieu dit the door was shut la ferme It is later than you think. Lipita 
que vous pensez. The time has drawn near. Pan rivé. Jesus is coming. Jésus a tourné. And there will be a time. Et à bien temps. The door will be shut. Porte là à fermer. But will you que be ready? Ou parer. Ladies, mesdames, it is important, important for us to make a decision, pour nous prendre une décision to live the way that God is calling us to live. Pour nous vivre une vie, Jean bon Dieu it is là. important for us to make a decision important pour nous to wake une décision, up out of the sleep, pour nous de to have faith in the Lord, to be strong in the Lord, strong in pour the nous Lord force and Dieu, to be ready pour nous in the préparer Lord. Dans bon the Dieu. scripture tells us the Parole hour has already come. The time is far spent. We need to be ready. Let us stand. God, you're calling us. The Lord is calling us. And he's telling us we have to be ready. This is our wake-up call. It's time for a spiritual awakening. God is saying we're sleeping for too long. We need to have faith. We need to be strong. We need to be strong. And we need to be ready, church. Will you be ready? When Jesus comes. All heads bowed and eyes closed. I want you to think about this. And I want you to speak to the Lord in your heart. Really, really, truly think about this. This world had so many things that happened. We've seen so many people pass away. God is giving us a wake-up call. He's saying that I'm near. I'm closer than ever before. And I need you to be ready. How many people want to be ready tonight? Oh, come on, if you want to be ready, ladies, won't you lift up your hands? If you want to be ready wherever you are all over the world, say, God, I want to be ready. God, I want to have the faith. God, I want to be strong. And God, I want to be ready. Lord, I want to be the woman that you've called me to be. God, I no longer I want to sleep. God, I want to be awakened, God. Father, I realize that the night is gone and the day is near and it's time for me to be ready. Oh, Lord, God, I want to be ready. If that's you, won't you raise your hand tonight? Come on, let this be your heart's cry. Let this be your desire tonight. Say, Lord, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I'm willing to surrender. I'm willing to let go. I'm willing to move forward. God, I want to be ready. This is my wake up call. This is my time to wake up. God, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. God, I want to be ready. Father, right now, God, we just lift you up, Lord. God, we lift up your ladies before you that has raised their hands tonight, oh God. Father, you hear their hearts, oh Lord. God, they want to have faith, oh Lord. They want to be strong, oh God. And they want to be ready, Lord. So God, I pray, Lord, that you will give them, Lord God, give them the that they need. Give them the faith that they need. Give them the strength that they need. Father, I pray, Lord, that you will give them the passion, the desire that they need to draw closer to you, God. Father, I pray, Lord, that they will be bold, oh God, to live for you, oh God. Father, I pray, oh God, that they will be able to let go of the things in their lives that's holding them back, oh God. Father, I pray, that your ladies, your daughters will wake up from their sleep, oh God. Will wake up from the slumber, oh God. Will wake up, oh God, so they can become the woman, the church that you call them to be in the mighty name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. Somebody give God a praise. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Who the sun sets free is free indeed.